friends, welcome to the biggest science quiz competition of Northeast, SciConnect 2018, being organized by Vigyan Prasar. We all have gathered here in Aizol for SciConnect 2018 Level 2 Quiz Competition Program. I am Ms. Natalia Rosalia Nisailo, your anchor and your quiz master. Today, we are honored to have with us Sri Sachin Narwadia, scientist from Vigyan Prasar, coordinator of SciConnect Quiz Competition. SciConnect is a program specially designed for the students of Northeast regions and initiated by Vigyan Prasar, an autonomous institution under the Department of Science and Technology. The Government of India, in collaboration with all the state councils of science and technology situated at different state capitals of northeastern states and Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan Assam. The specialty of this quiz show is that it is based on the content of the films produced by Vigyan Prasar and syllabus of the 8th and the 9th. Today, we are here in Aizol and the children have come from schools of different districts across Mizoram. Mizoram, also known as the Songbird of India, is one of the smallest states in the country with 92% literacy. It lies in the southern part of the northeastern India. Mizoram, the land of blue mountains, is a storehouse of natural beauty with its amazing landscape, hilly terrains, meandering streams, deep gorges, along with rich wealth of flora and fauna. As today, we are here for the SciConnect program. Let me give brief about the program. This program has three levels. Level 1 was a district level competition. In this level, all registered schools of Mizoram were given 33 science films produced by Vigyan Prasar for the screening at schools. After screening of films, an objective type written examination was conducted jointly with Mizoram Council of Science and Technology, ISOL. From the students who participated in the written examination, the first 30 students were selected for a level 2 quiz competition come Hands on Science workshop. Out of 30 students, the first 15 students are now facing the quiz competition and all 30 students participated in the three days hands-on science workshop organized by Vigyan Prasar. The first winning team of Level 2 from Mizoram along with all first winning teams of other northeastern states will go to the final level to be held in Agartala, Tripura, the Level 3. Level 3 will be a regional level final quiz competition which will be held in Agartala. So I welcome you all again. We are starting the Sci Connect Level 2. Before starting the quiz show, let us have a quick introduction to all the participants. So please introduce yourselves. We will start from Team A. Hi, my name is Evel Tansua and I'm currently studying at Class 9 at St. Paul's Higher Secondary School. My hobbies are reading books and drawing. Hi, my name is Ace Unhing Moya and I'm, I'm studying Class 9 in Hall Faith School. Uh, uh, my, my hobby is reading mysterious books like Sherlock Holmes. Hi, my name is Larry Welfare Asilo. I'm studying Class 9 in Holy Faith School. Uh, my hobby is playing games with my friends. Thank you, Team A. That was a beautiful introduction. Now let's have the introduction of Team B. Hello, everyone. My name is Anya Singh, and I'm studying in Class 9 at Kendi Vidyalaya Museum University. My hobbies are reading books and playing outdoor games. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Kelan Mangaya. I am studying Class 9 in Holy Faith School. My hobbies are playing musical instruments and reading books. Hi, my name is Ram Nimoy. I'm studying class 9 in Holy Faith School, Lungle, and my hobby is singing. Thank you, Team B. Now, let's hear the introduction for Team C. Hi, my name is Brenda Valer Shoyi, and I'm studying class 9 at Holy Faith School, Lungle. My hobby is watching TV. Hi, my name is Shushpita Sarki, and I'm studying in St. Paul's Higher Secondary School in class 9, and my hobbies are dancing, singing, and reading books. Hello, everyone. My name is Lesha Rangi, and I'm currently studying in class 9 at St. Paul's Higher Secondary School. My hobbies are watching anime, reading, and singing. Thank you, Team C, for the beautiful introduction. Another introduction round for Team D. Hello, everyone. My name is Vanan Ompuya. 
I'm currently studying class 9 at St. Paul's Higher Secondary School. My hobbies are meddling with computer programs and playing chess. Hello everyone, my name is Mary Loring Pui. I'm from Holy Faith School, Lung Lei, and I'm studying class 9. And my hobby is reading books. Hi, my name is Arl San Chua. I'm studying class 9 at Holy Faith School, Lung Lei. My hobbies are reading books and watching television. Thank you so much, Team D. An introduction from Team E. Hi, my name is Nirti Basel and I'm studying in class 9 in St. Paul's Higher Secondary School and my hobbies are reading psychological horror novels and listening to K-pop, especially BTS. Hello everyone, my name is Simon Laram Siama and I'm currently studying in class 9 at St. Paul's Higher Secondary School, Kangnam and my hobbies are solving Rubik's Cube and playing chess. Hi, my name is Ankita Barwa. I'm studying in class 9 at St. Paul's Higher Secondary School and my hobby is playing badminton. Thank you, Team E, and thank you to all the teams for the beautiful introduction. We will start with round one. Teams, are you ready? Yes, Miss. Okay. These are the terms and conditions for round one. In round one, each team will get one question with multiple choice. If unanswered, the question will not pass on to the next team. And each question will carry 10 points. The answer time for the team is 10 seconds. We will start off the first round with Team A. Team A, are you ready? Yes, You're nervous? Yes, miss. You're nervous? Don't be nervous. All right, let's look at your question on the screen. Out of the options coming on the screen, which is good conductor of heat? Here are your options. A. Aluminium wire. B. Coal piece. C. Sulfur piece. D. None of these. A. Aluminium wire. A. Aluminium wire. Congratulations, Team A. That's the right answer. Option A is right because aluminium, being metal, is a good conductor of heat. Now, coming to Team B. Team B, are you ready? Yes. All right. Let's look at your question on the screen. Which compound have highest boiling point? Your options are A, NH3, ammonia, B, CH4, methane, C, H2O, water, or D? HF hydrogen fluoride Option C H2O Option C H2O That is another correct answer for team B congratulations The option C is right because water has intermolecular hydrogen bonds. We'll proceed on with Team C. Team C, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's look at your question on the screen. Six pipes fill a tank in 120 minutes. Then, five pipes will fill it in. Your options are A, 100 minutes, B, 144 minutes, C, 140 minutes, or D, 108 minutes. Your time is up. I wish you better luck next time. And the right answer is B, 144 minutes. All right, let's move on to Team D. Team D, are you ready? Yes, miss. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. In case of DNA strands joined together, which of the following is correctly matched? Your options are A, A and T, B, A and G, C, T and G, and D, none of the above. B, A, and G. B, A, and G. That is a wrong answer. The right answer is option A, A, and T. The reason is 
Between adenine and thymine, there is a complementary base pairing in DNA. Now let's go to team E. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Crescograph, a device that measures which of the following? Your options are A. Growth of a plant B. Growth of lentils C. Growth of rabbits or D. Growth of frogs A. Growth of a plant A. Growth of a plant. That is the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. Now let's come back to Team A. Team A, have you geared up yourselves? All right, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Archimedes said that, Give me a lever long enough and I could move the world. Why did he say that? Your options are A. Lever minimizes force B. Lever magnifies force C. Lever and force are not related or D. Lever and force are opposite. Option B, lever magnifies force. That is the wrong answer. The right answer is option A, lever minimizes force. Okay? Now, can we move on to team B? Yes. Team B, are you ready? Alright, let's take a look at the question on the screen. For which crime investigation was fingerprint first used in India? Your options are A. Pension fraud B. Murder C. Decoity or D. Theft Your time is up. I'm so sorry. The right answer is A, pension fraud. Now, can we go on to team C? Yes. I hope you don't lose your time now. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Which pollutant in water causes weakness of bones? Your options are A, fluoride, B, acetate, C, mercury, or D, lead. Option A, fluoride. A, fluoride. Are you sure? Okay, I'll take that as a right answer. The right answer is A, fluoride. Okay, let's move on to Team D. Team D, are you ready? Yes, miss. All right, let's take a look at your question on the screen. How many moles of carbon dioxide are present in 220 mg? Your options are A. 5 moles B. 0 0.005 moles C. 5000 moles or D. 10 moles Your time is up, Team D. And the right answer is B, 0 0.005 moles. That is because 44 grams of carbon dioxide has 1 mole molecules of CO2. Now let's come to Team E. Team E, are you ready? Yes, yes miss. Okay, let's take a look at your question on the screen. Satyendra Nath Bose Popular for his significant work on which of the following subject area? Your options are A. Quantum Mechanics B. Chemistry C. Paleobotany or D. History of Science A. Quantum Mechanics A. Quantum Mechanics and that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. With that, we have completed the first round. Let's take a look at the scores. Here are the scores for round one. 
Team A, Team B, and Team C have scored 10 points, and Team D hasn't opened their account yet. We have Team E with 20 points. Now let's come to round two of our quiz. These are the terms and conditions for round two. Round two will be a one word answer round. Each team will get one question with 10 points to each question. The question, as I have told you, will be a one word answer type. If unanswered, the question will pass on to the next team only, carrying five bonus points for pass on team, time will be 10 seconds. The answer time is 20 seconds for first team. Alright, shall we proceed with round two? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's move on to round two with team A. Team A, here is your question on the screen. Give the name of the Indian satellite dedicated to the purpose of education. Your time is up. Your question passes on to Team B. Team B, any idea? Your time is up. The right answer is EduSat. Now let's move on to Team B. Team B, are you ready now? Yes. Okay, let's look at your question on the screen. The word chroma in Greek means Your time is up. Your question passes to Team C. Team C, you have 10 seconds. Your time is up, Team C. And the right answer is color. All right, let's move on to Team C. Team C, are you ready? Yes. Okay, don't be nervous. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. On which axis does the point A, 0, minus 4 lie? Your time is up. That's a very simple answer, I hope and I guess. But let's see if Team D can answer the question. Y axis. Yes, Team D, you are right. Y axis is the right answer. Now let's move on to your question. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. The Earth is a satellite of which star? Sun. Sun. And that's a very right answer. Congratulations, Team D. <laughs> Team E, are you ready? Yes, yes miss. miss. Okay. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. What is the monomer of polythene? A T. A T. And that is the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. 
With that, we have completed the second round of this quiz. Let's take a look at the scores. After the end of the second round, we have Team A, Team B and Team C with 10 points each, Team D with 15 points and Team E with a lead of 30 points. Moving on to round 3. Now round 3 is a buzzer round with negative marking. Each team will get one question with 10 points to each question. The question will be one word answer type. After appearance of the question, the buzzer need to be pressed immediately if you know the answer. The opportunity for answering will be given to the team who presses their buzzers first. The wrong answer will deduct two marks from your total score and the right answer will give you 10 marks. If unanswered, the question will pass on to the next team only and it will carry a bonus of 5 points. There will be no deduction of marks in case of pass on. Okay? All right, let's start off with round three. Teams, are you ready? Yes. yes, keep your hands ready with the buzzer. Make sure you press your buzzer as soon as you know the answer. All right. Okay. Coming to question one of round three. Books named as The Nervous Mechanism of Plants is written by which Indian scientist? Team E presses their buzzer. JC Bose. JC Bose, and that is the right answer. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Teams, are you ready? Yes. Okay, your next question is Name the scientist who used the term element for the first time. Any guesses? Press your buzzers. All right, Team C. NK Levisor. Is the wrong answer. The question passes on to the next team. That is Team D. Team D, if you know the answer. Team D. Are you planning to give an answer or not? No. Okay. The right answer is Robert Boyle. So let's move on to the third question. Teams, gear yourselves up. Don't be nervous. All right. Let's take a look at your question on the screen. Mathematics is the mirror of civilization. Who said this? Nobody's willing to press your buzzers. You can take a guess if you want. All right. So no one presses your buzzer. Okay, the right answer is Hogben. And your reaction tells me that you know the person. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Question number four, let's take a look at your question on the screen. The famous Indian biochemist Har Gobind Korana received the Nobel Prize for which subject during 1968? Okay, team E presses their buzzer. Your answer is? Medicine. Medicine. And that is a wrong answer. 
Your question passes on to Team A if they wish to answer. Chemistry. Chemistry. I'm afraid that's another wrong answer. The right answer is physiology. This is our final question for the round. Teams, get ready. Let's with your buzzers. All right? Let's take a look at your question on the screen. If you are 14 years old now, how many times have you gone around the sun? Yes, Team D? 14 times. 14, and that is the right answer. With that, we have completed the third round, the buzzer round. Let's take a look at the scores. Team A and Team B are still with 10 points. Team C loses 2 points, giving them 8 points. Team D with 25 points and Team E with 38 points. Alright, you still have lots of chances to make it up. You still have two rounds coming after this. All right, so gear yourselves up. Let's see what we have in the fourth round. Round four is a photo identification round. Here, each team will get one question as a picture, which will be shown on the screen. If identified without any clue, then 10 points will be awarded. Two points for each clue will be deducted for the next four clues, meaning that I will be giving you four clues. If unanswered, the question will not pass on to the next team. And your total time for answering will be one and a half minutes. Okay? Are you ready now, teams? Yes. Okay. Shall we start off with round four? Yes. Okay. Now let's start round four with team A. Team A, let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify the leaves? Would you like to take a clue? Miss, can you give us the first clue? Okay, let's have clue one. Fresh or dried leaves are used in cooking for their distinctive flavor and fragrance. Think hard. Remember, you have one and a half minute. Next clue. The leaves contain about 1.3% essential oils. Hard clue. All right, next clue. They are most often used in rice dishes like biryani and as an ingredient in garam masala. Is it coming? Shall we take the final clue? Or clue. The name starts with letter B. Your time is up. And the right answer is bay leaf. Okay. Moving on to team B. Team B, are you ready? Yes. Are you nervous? Yes. You're nervous. Okay. I hope this will erase all your nerves. Let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify the picture on the screen? Remember, you have one and a half minutes. You have four clues. Clue. Clue. First clue. It is used mainly as an aromatic condiment and flavoring additive in a wide variety of cuisines, sweet and savory dishes. Next 
clue. Next clue. In ancient Egypt, it was used to embalm mummies. Next clue. Next clue. It is an evergreen tree characterized by oval shaped leaves, thick bark, and a berry fruit. Last clue. The last clue. It is a spice obtained from the inner bark of several tree species from the genus Cinnamomum. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. And that is the right answer. It takes you till the fourth clue to get to the right answer. Anyway, congratulations. Let's move on with Team C. Team C, are you ready? Let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Can you identify the plant or the leaves? First clue. First clue. Its leaves are used in many dishes in India, Sri Lanka and neighboring countries. You can think of a dish with that sort of leaf. Basils. Basils. That is wrong. Would you like to get your next clue? Okay. It is a small tree growing 4 to 6 meter tall with a trunk up to 40 centimeter in diameter. Next clue. Compounds found in curry tree leaves, stems, bark and seeds contain many cinnamaldehyde. Next clue. Next clue. It is also called as sweet neem in India. Nimpata. Nimpata is the wrong answer. The right answer is in the third clue. Curry leaves. Okay? That is how close you were. Alright. Let's move on to Team D. Team D, are you ready? Okay, let's take a look at your picture on the screen. Can you identify the leaves? Remember, you can take clues. Next clue. It is used as a herb. Dried or fresh leaves, spice, seeds and vegetables, fresh leaves, sprouts and microgreens. It's a herb, it's a spice, it's a vegetable. Please. In a 100 gram amount, its seeds provide 323 kilocalories of food energy. Would you like to take your next clue? Next clue. I'll be giving you your next clue. All right. In traditional medicine, it is thought to promote digestion, induce labor, and reduce blood sugar levels in diabetics. I'm sorry, your time is up, Team D. The right answer is. Anyone knows the right answer? Fenugreek. Fenugreek. Yes, that's the right answer. It's fenugreek or what we call methi. Okay? Now with that, I wish you luck, Team E. Let's move on to your question. Let's take a look at your photo question on the screen. Now can you identify that? Uh, 
nutmeg. Yes, it's nutmeg, the right answer. Congratulations, Team E. With that, we have completed the fourth round. Let's take a look at the scores. Team A, still on 10 points. Team B, 12 points. Team C, with 8 points. Team D, 25 points. Team E are still leading with 48 points. Now we have come to the fifth and the final round. Remember teams, you can still catch up with the other teams. Don't lose heart, okay? Round five will be a rapid fire round and your answer will only be in true or false. Each team will be asked continuous questions for one and a half minutes or maximum eight questions. The answer should be given in true or false. Each question will carry five points and only one representative will be able to give the answer. All right? Is it clear? Can we start? All right. We will start with Team A again. Team A, who will be your representative? My name is Aishin Moya, and I will be representing Team A. All right. Now, can we start Team A? Remember, your friends can help you, okay, while you give the answer. All right, let's look at your questions. Freezing point and melting point refer to same temperature. False. Wrong. When a substance changes from a solid into a liquid, it is no longer the same substance. False. Wrong. Most of the corals are strictly herbivores. True. Wrong. Some worms possess teeth and arms. True. Wrong. Non-renewable energy is energy which can be used as many times. Right. Negative lenses focus the light. True. Wrong. Shadows caused by sun can be used to tell time. True. Right. Laser has wide applications in surgery, cutting, etc. True. Right. With that, Team A got three correct answers and that gives you 15 points on your table. Congratulations! Now let's move on to Team B. Team B, are you ready? Okay, who will be representing your team? I, Anya Singh, will be representing Team B. Okay, now I wish you all the best. Let's take a look at your questions. Diffusion involves movement of particles in specific pattern. True. Wrong. A system that changes from a solid to liquid state gain energy. True. Right. Engines worked on principle that a hot gas expands. True. Right. The best magnets can be made from brass. False. Right. Some frogs can hold water. False. Wrong. Mutations can create new characteristics in living things. True. Right. A term of algebraic expression having no literal factor is called constant term. False. Wrong. Minus 1 is the smallest negative integer. True. 
wrong. With that, team B, you have made four right answers and you have scored 20 points on your table. Congratulations. Now moving on to team C. Team C, are you ready? Yes, miss. Who will be representing your team? My name is Les Sharingi and I will be representing team C. Okay. Now I wish you all the best. Okay, let's take a look at your questions. All solutions are mixture and all mixtures are solutions. False. Right? All the molecules of a gas move at same speed when the gas is kept at constant temperature. True. Wrong. Zero is neither negative nor positive. True. Right? Three raised to power six and sixth power of three are different. False. Right? The World Meteorological Organization has 150 member countries. False. Wrong. Hailstorms are frozen drops of rain. True. Right? Ice crystals shapes are divided into 80 categories. False. Wrong. Pink or red snow in nature due to the presence of snow algae. False. Wrong. With that, Team C also scored 20 points, having four correct answers. Congratulations, Team C. Now let's move on to Team D. Team D, are you ready? Okay, who will be the representative for your team? My name is Mary Lauren Pui and I will be representing Team D. All right. I wish you all the best. Let's take a look at your questions. During change of state, temperature remains constant throughout. False. Wrong. One property that only particles of matter have in common is they move constantly. False. Wrong. An angle with equal arms has one line symmetry, no point symmetry. False. Wrong. Representation of data by bar is called bar graph. True. Right? Now, coal can be made by humans. False. Right. Coral grows only in clear, warm, shallow water. False. Wrong. Indian Ocean tsunami occurred in 2008. False. Right? Reciprocating engines don't have pistons. True. Wrong. Team D, you got three answers, right? So that gives you 15 points on your table. Congratulations. Coming to the last but not the least, Team E, are you ready? Yes, miss. Who will be representing your team? My name is Simon Lalem Siema and I will be representing Team E. All right. I wish you all the best. Let's take a look at your questions. Crystals can be mixtures. True. Wrong. Bose-Einstein condensate can be obtained by cooling a gas of extremely low density. True. Right. Hypothalamus is responsible for regulation of body temperature. True. Right? Hamsters are big, long-tailed forest animals. False. Right? The earliest record of solar eclipse comes from ancient China. False. Wrong. Electricity is measured in unit of power called what? True. Right? Insulators allow flow of current. False. 
right? The mucous membrane in nasal bones prevent dust to pass to lungs. Bones. Wrong. With that, Timmy, you have scored another 25 points on your table with five answers correct. Congratulations. With this, we have come to the conclusion of Level 2 Sci Connect Quiz Competition of Mizoram State. As all rounds are over now, I invite Sri Sachin Narvadia, scientist and coordinator of Sci Connect, to announce the final score. Thank you, Ms. Natalia. We had good competition in today's Sci Connect Quiz program. All the teams were very good. The teamwork you've done well guarantee the success, as well said by Napoleon Hill, that it is literally true that you can succeed based and quickest by helping others to succeed. By end of multiple choice question round, team A, team B and team C had scored 10 points while team D did not open their account. Team E gave both the answers right and were on 20 points. After one word answer round, team A, B and C did not give any right answer and remained on 10 points each. Team D opened their account with earnings of 15 points. Team E improved their score with 10 points, taking their final score to 30 points. Team E tightening their grip on competition and consolidating their position as leaders. After buzzer round, Team A and Team B remained at 10 points only, whereas Team C got two negative points for giving wrong answers. Their score was 8 points. Team D gave one right answer taking their score to 25 points. Whereas team E gave one right answer and got 10 points for it, but lost two points for wrong answer after pressing the buzzer. Thus team E got final improvement of only eight points as compared to round two. After photo identification round, team A, C and D were unable to give any right answers and their score remained same as of previous round. Team B improved their score by two points whereas Team E got 10 points, taking their overall score to 48 points. The rapid fire round was full of excitement. Team E did extremely well by answering 5 questions correctly and moved ahead by adding 25 points to their score and total score was 73 points. Team D were placed second with 40 points. Team E had maintained their first position throughout the quiz program and did not allow other teams to come near its score. The final score for all the teams is stand at Team A 25 points, Team B 32 points, Team C 28 points, Team D 40 points and Team E at 73 points. My heartiest congratulations to all the teams for giving tough fight to the winning team Team E. So Team E is now recommended for the finals to be held in Agartala. Thank you Miss Natalia Madam, thank you very much. Thank you Sachin Narvadia sir for announcing the scores of all the teams. I congratulate Team E for winning the quiz competition and all the best for Agartala. I offer my best wishes for all the participants and I wish you a bright future ahead. Uh, Psychonect is very fun. As it is am among the competition between the Northeast region in India, even for the teachers, we gain so many things here, and most of the students uh, gain so many knowledge, uh, which represents not only from the textbook itself. And uh, we feel very excited here today. Uh, it's very exciting as we don't really study out of our textbooks, and it's uh, informative as we get to ask. We actually we actually get to interact with the the others and. Yeah, it's very good for us. I feel proud to present for my state Mizoram and we are participating for a workshop activity and uh, it is very interesting to make new friends and uh, to get more knowledge as well. I feel that all these hand, hands-on activities are very important for our future and help us experience what we need for taking up science stream in the future. I am very proud that my daughter Anya Singh is selected in state level quiz competition and this quiz competition is very, uh, it's providing uh, opportunity for her to learn more science than that is given in her textbook. We are all living in a remote state 
and we are getting an opportunity, this kind of opportunity to learn science in a better way. I'm really happy to be here in PsychNet quiz competition. It's really a great opportunity for me, not only for me, but all the students present here. They teach us so many things which are beyond our textbooks. And I will surely, I'll give my 100% to win this competition and represent Mizoram. I think PsychConnect has really opened new doors for me and it could be a better chance for me to get a better career in future. And I will give all of my efforts and I'll work very hard so that I'm able to represent Mizoram in such a big thing. And I hope to, I really, really hope to make my parents and the state proud.